Hey everybody, I'm Suzanne Gunderson from Transform Connections and today I'm going to go over my four easy steps to tapping. Step number one is always notice how you know that something is bothering you. So I invite you right now to think about something that might just be niggling you or under your skin and just notice how you know that this is a stress for you. Maybe you watch it in your mind as a movie. Maybe you see it as a slideshow or pictures in your mind. Or maybe you don't see anything, but you just hear something. You hear a voice, you hear a noise, you hear a sound. Maybe it's your own voice saying something to yourself. Or maybe you just feel some sensations in your body or maybe even some emotions. So that's always step number one of tapping. So I invite you right now, think of something that's bothering you and notice how it's bothering you. Step number two of tapping is give that experience that you're having an intensity number on a scale of zero to 10. If zero means it doesn't bother me and 10 means it really bothers me, what number would you give it? And try and find something that's higher than a six. Because the closer, the, the higher the number, the closer to the root that we get that's holding this stress inside of your brain and your body. So step number two is give it an intensity number. Step number three is go to the part that stands out the most. Often the part that's uncomfortable, you know, um, the worst part of it, the part that you're just like, oh, that's the part that gets me. So go to that part. And don't worry, we're not going to stay there very long because step number four is we're going to tap. And so let me just share with you the tapping points that I like to use between your eyes. So just take two fingers, either hand doesn't matter, between your eyes, on the side of the eye, under your eye, on your collarbones, and you're going to grab your wrist. So those are the points we're going to use. So go back. Step number one, think of something that bothers you and notice how it bothers you. What does it look like, sound like, feel like? Whatever it is, give that experience you're having an intensity number on a scale of zero to two. That's step number two. Step number three, go to the part that stands out the most, the part that you're just like, oh, that's, that's the part that gets me, often the most uncomfortable part. And step number four is we're going to tap. So if you've got something and it's higher than a six, Put all your focus and awareness on that worst part of it, the part that just stands out the most. See it, hear it, feel it, all of it. Take your two fingers, start tapping between your eyes and repeat out loud after me and say, this thing that stresses me out. It really, really stresses me out. It's bothering me. I can't let it go. And then tap on the side of the eye. What it looks like. What it sounds like what it feels like. I know it so well. And then tap under the eye. All the intensity I experience about it. The first time I felt this way. What this means to me. Everyone that's involved. What they said. What they did. What they didn't say. They didn't do. And then tap on your collarbones. It's safe in this moment to let it all go. I'm willing to let it go. No matter where it came from, what it means, I let it go from every cell of my body. I'm clearing it all the way back to my past. I'm willing to let it go. And then take one hand and squeeze the opposite wrist a few times. Take a nice easy breath. Blow it out. Say the word clear. Now, in your mind, I invite you to go think of something that feels really good, a happy memory or a happy experience. It can be anything. It doesn't have to be monumental. It could just be something that feels really good. Maybe it's your soft pillow, a hot shower that you took, or maybe it was a job promotion or the first day you got your new car. Uh, maybe it was a wonderful vacation you went on. Whatever it is, just go be in your body in that wonderful memory. Step into your body. See everything clearly. Hear it crisply. Feel how easy it is in your body. If you've got something good that feels good and it's at least as high as an eight or higher, then I invite you to tap with me and say, this is who I truly am, naturally and easily. And then tap on the side of the eye, this wonderful feeling. It lives inside of me. I create it just like I create all things. And then tap under your eye. And this is something that feels so good, so wonderful. It's all mine. I can have it anytime I want. And tap on your collarbones. This wonderful feeling lives inside of me, all mine. And then take your hand, squeeze the opposite wrist a few times, take a nice breath, blow it out, say the word peace, and then go back to the thing that was bothering you and notice what's different. 
Maybe you're feeling a little tingly sensation. Maybe you're yawning. Maybe you feel relaxed. Or maybe you're like, oh, now I know exactly what was really bothering me about that. So sometimes we can neutralize it to the point where it just doesn't bother us the same anymore. Maybe your number has gone down. Or maybe it's given you more information now exactly what to pinpoint you're tapping on. So if there's anything left, then I invite you to keep tapping with me. Meaning if anything, if anything is a two or three or four or five or six, any, any number that's not a zero with this thing that bothers you, then let's do another round and just start tapping between your eyes and say, don't make me let this go. Oh, this happened. It really happened. I'm an expert at it. Everyone that's involved really did that. And it really bothers me. Tap on the side of the eye. Maybe it's not safe to let it go. Maybe I don't deserve to let it go. Maybe I don't know how to let it go. And then tap under the eye. All my resistance to letting it go. Don't make me let it go. I know it so well. And tap on your collarbone. But I'm willing in this moment to let a little bit more of it go. It's safe to let it go. I am safe in this moment. And then grab your wrist, squeeze it, take a nice breath, blow it out, say the word peace. Go over to the thing that was bought that, that is your wonderful memory. The thing that feels really good. Just step into it, be there, fill yourself up from tip to toe, and just be feeling wonderful, effortless, easy. And when you're there, just squeeze your wrist a couple times, just say the words peace, 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 peace. Take a nice breath, then go back to the thing that was bothering you and notice what's left. Maybe nothing's left, but if there is, then I invite you to rewind the video and do a little bit more. You can start from the beginning and let go of how you know it, let go of any resistance and keep going back and forth between what's stressing you out and tapping to clear it and then enjoying a little bit of peace with a happy memory. Go back and forth a couple times. Do this video a couple times over if you've got something pretty strong. Or maybe it was just the first time around, now you're feeling a lot better. Either way, relief is on the way. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.